Good day, collectors and viewers. Social Distance Warrior is back. And today we're going to look at Luke Skywalker in his Bespin attire or Bespin Fatigues outfit that he sported in Empire Strikes Back. So, uh, Luke Skywalker, of course, appeared first in the original Star Wars movie, New Hope, back in 1977. And then we had the farm boy Luke, and it took us through that entire movie. And then with The Empire Strikes Back and the anticipation for that one, Luke Skywalker would continue his journey and he'd sport a brand new outfit as well. So Empire Strikes Back made its debut back in 1980 and Luke Skywalker was one of the first figures that was released on those 31 backs from the original Kenner line on The Empire Strikes Back. And this is the figure over here. Now you notice that he initially came out with a darker uh, hair color and a lighter hair color. So he's got a couple variants. We'll look at both of them here. Uh, you can see he's sporting his Bespin Fatigues outfit. Um, a slightly different look from the first movie. You can see that he's got his lightsaber sculpted onto his uh, on, onto his waist there, onto his um, holster. And he's got his gun holster over here on that side, nicely sculpted on. Uh, they've gone uh, done away with the lightsaber in the arm here he's gotten two regular hands which is nice on these figures that was a nice little you know gimmick on the first release but the release but it's nice to have that uh updated to the regular release where you can put the lightsaber or the gun and alternate in either hand uh that's what you can see what his sculpt looks like uh they've used the same head from that original luke skywalker so you can see that's what he looks like with the head um full posability on this figure here arms up and down again this is original release you can see he's in good shape. He's not my original figure. Otherwise, he'd be a lot looser than this. Purchased them again over the years. There's his foot peg there underneath, but he's got that full articulation that you'd expect from the original line. And he's a very nice looking action figure. Now we turn him to the side. That's what he looks like there. And just remember, in the 2020 Empire Strikes Back went through its 40th anniversary. So believe it or not, this action figure is 40 years old. And that's what he looks like from the back. And of course, you do a lot of adventures with your scenes from Empire Strikes Back, whether it was on, you know, on your Star Destroyer, on the Dagoba playset, whatever it was with Darth Vader, you could have a lot of different play scenarios with this Luke Skywalker figure. And he did. I do have both versions of him with the blonde hair and with the darker, dirty blonde hair. That's what they look like side by side. But so you can see that's the original head sculpt. Uh, you can notice on the blonde one over here that the eyes and the eyebrows were painted black. That mimics the original release of Luke Skywalker. And then over here, the head and the eyebrows are not black, but like a darker brown on both figures. And that's what they look like side by side. Identical figures, but it's nice to have uh, both different hair colors. It almost feels like two different figures. And that's why I picked up both of them. So that was in 1980. That's the original Luke Skywalker that we'd get. And of course, we wouldn't see another version of Bestman Luke until Star Wars made its triumphant return in the 90s. And of course, it made its return first with the Dark Horse stuff and then with some video games there, Shadows of the Empire, Continue, Continue the Adventures, and the Timothy Zahn novels. And then, of course, George Lucas announces he's going to be making prequel movies. But before those prequel movies came out, out came the special editions of the Star Wars movies. And the first one was, you know, Star Wars A New Hope, and then it was Empire, and then Jedi simultaneously right after that. And in 98, we get a brand new Luke Skywalker on the Power of the Force 2 card on the freeze frame. So I have that carded over here. I'm going to show you that first. Let's bring that forward. Just have a look. So there's the Luke Skywalker. Of course, it's a trilingual, trilingual card because I live up here in Canada. And you can see he comes with his lightsaber and with his blaster as well as a freeze frame card. And freeze frame, again, a nice little gimmick that they put out there with the figures. But that's the front of the card. And here's what he looks like on the back. And of course, they had those nice bios on the back. I love the pictures that they used on there. The internet was still very new. To have any kind of, you know, media on Star Wars that you could keep was um, a blessing for sure. And you can see it has a special offer uh, to mail away for that freeze frame reader. Uh, offer expires in January 31st, 1999. So we're a far way off from that being valid. And there's other figures that were available as well on the back so to look at this figure loose let's bring him forward drop that back there for one sec that'll be the power of the force 2 luke skywalker that's this guy over here so they've definitely come a long way with these figures when they initially came out on the power of the force 2 they were all very beefy looking and they've started to get away from that beefy look and continue on with a more um realistic 
pose on Luke Skywalker, you'll notice that he's holding his lightsaber and he has it going across, and you're wondering, how is his hand posed like that? Well, his hand's got some articulation there at the wrist. So he can move his arms up and down there. You see he's got the same head sculpt that he had on the original Power of the Force 2, Luke Skywalker. Uh, he turns at the waist there, so you have that movement as well. Uh, he's got his holster sculpted there on his leg. And he's got his boots there. He's definitely a nice figure. Um, the legs are in a kind of a strange pose. This one's, you can see when I have them sitting si straight, the bottom foot on the left side there, on his left side, is sculpted up, so you'd have to actually pull the foot back in order to stand him. So he's got a really weird stance. They kind of posed him to fight Darth Vader, but if you wanted him standing straight, he's kind of got a weird stance. But that's the articulation that he's got on there. Of course, that arm comes up and down. Uh, let's take the weapons out to have a quick look at them. So there's his lightsaber, and they started releasing lightsabers in a more realistic size. They weren't oversized like they initially were on the Power of the Force 2 line. Nicely painted handle there. And then, of course, his blaster as well. They were still going with those DL-44 blasters. That's the blaster there. And then here's what Luke Skywalker looks like, you know, from the side. Uh, that's what he looks like underneath with his foot pegs. We'll turn him around to the back. Mine's got a little bit of discoloration here, paint job-wise, on the back. But I can live with it. That's fine. Um, and that's what he looks like from the back as well. And you can see he's got his hair curling up there in the back, a little bit like a mullet, because they used that original head sculpt from the first movie. Continuing on to the second, well, Empire Strikes Back, fifth movie in the in the sixth movie um, arc, initial sixth movie arc. Uh, belt's painted nicely on there, and it comes with a really nice feature. You know, they, we have, really haven't gotten any features with these figures. The biggest feature with Power of the Force 2 line from the original one was the fact that you can move them at the waist. Well, this one's got a really neat, neat feature that, like, when I heard it was coming out, was mind-blowing for me. His hand pops off. So Darth Vader chops his hand off in the movie, and you can see that it pops off, and it pops off nicely. Like it pops right off on there. And then you have Luke Skywalker minus his hand, and Darth Vader tells him the bad news, and then Luke Skywalker screams and jumps down that chute. But that's what he's got there, hand-wise, and it pops right back on nicely. So you don't have any issues taking that hand off or on. But that's the Luke Skywalker that we'd get in 1998. Let's just put his accessories back in there. And then we'll pull them back up and we'll keep going. Okay. So Luke Skywalker in his Bespin attire or Bespin fatigues. Uh, he'd make a couple, you know, releases. They'd stick with this look on Luke Skywalker until they decided to advance the line a bit. And the next time we'd see him would be four years later. And it'd be under the Star Wars saga line. So they were making the prequel movies. They initially had, you know, a wave with the episode one figures, Darth Maul on it. And then they unified everything when before Attack of the Clones came out, made it all one Star Wars saga line. And uh, Bespin Luke got another release there. And he's actually a really nice figure. He holds up well today. That's this guy over here. And you can see he's got a really battle damaged look. He's got scarring on his face because... Darth Vader just beat him up. He had a really, really bad battle there with him. Uh, he's got more articulation on this figure as well. So you can see, you know, they painted the inside of the mouth as well as the teeth. So they've come a long way as far as paint operation on these figures. It's a brand new head sculpt. So they've done away with that original head sculpt they were going with. And they went a lot further. Uh, his arms, articulation at the shoulder like you'd expect. He's got a swivel at the elbow, which is nice. So you can swivel it down, but it's it's pre-sculpted. Oh, my hand popped off there. I just give away the feature. And yes, his hand does pop off as well on this figure. I mean, that's to be expected right now. If it didn't come off, then you'd be in a lot of trouble. And if we look down over here, he does have uh, his gun in the holster there. So he's got a holster sculpted onto his leg, which is really neat. And they started doing that initially with the Duros from the Cantina and the Biker Scout, and they've implemented that to the other figures, and you can see the guns come a long way as well from that, you know, original one that they had on the Power of the Force 2. Let's bring that forward. Like, look how far that's come, realistic-wise, right? Realism-wise. It's not huge and bulky anymore. The barrel's painted silver, which is nice. And, of course, it can go into a holster on him, so you can accessorize him and have him carrying his weapons with him, which is a nice accessory. Uh, articulation at the knees which is amazing and you'll see why that's pretty cool afterwards as well um, same thing on the other side there he's got little foot pegs on the bottom so you can stand him on a stand or whatever you need to do there uh, same thing on the other hand over here he's got swivel at the elbow 
And then at the wrist as well, you can turn his arm in, in or out, depending on what accessory you have holding in there. Uh, the holster is sculpted on, so you can turn him on the waist, but you can see there's a little, that's what he looks like from the side. There's a little button there on the side because Luke's got an action feature. And if you push that button, he does a lightsaber slash to the side there. So a lot of figures had gimmicks at the time in uh, the Star Wars Saga line when it officially launched, and Luke was one of them. But it doesn't really get in the way depending on how you're posing him. But if you did have him standing sideways fighting Darth Vader, it would look like he's growing a tail or something coming out of the back there. Some kind of mutated version of Luke Skywalker. That's what it looks like from the back as well. And you can see the weathering that's painted on nicely over here. Uh, the creases on his jacket. It's a really nice figure. It holds up well. And the figure came with a nice giant accessory. So it had the accessory from the bottom of Cloud City. When Luke jumps down that chute, because Darth Vader told him he's his dad. Spoiler alert. Uh, it came with this. And this comes apart in a couple places so that it would store in the packaging. And that pops right into there. And you can turn that this way or you can turn it sideways. Depending on how you have them standing. And it's got a nice detail and paint job here around the bottom of it. And if you notice here on the bottom, it's got suction cups. So you can stick that underneath one of your shelves and have Luke hanging. And it hangs really well. Like I've had that hanging for years. And I took it off for the review. Uh, it's got the little red lights painted on the end. So they went accent-wise all out on this on the detail on here. And I'm going to show you what Luke looks like standing on this thing as well. And it does have a little slot opening here on the back, almost like they were intending to make a larger playset for Cloud City and attach it to something, but nothing else came out of this. But I think that's what that was for. That's actually supposed to attach to something else and then reenact that scene. So I'm going to show you what it looks like attached onto that. So there's Luke Skywalker hanging off the end of Bespin Cloud City, missing his hand, holding on for dear life, calling out to Princess Leia to come and save him, rescue him. Uh, at the end of Empire Strikes Back, and how neat is that? And you can hang that right off, you know, that suction cup there, sh suction cup there on the top, uh, on your shelf, and reenact that scene. I have this standing near my carbon freeze chamber, so all that Empire Strikes Back goodness is sitting together. And of course, you can bend his legs, and that's what he looks like. How awesome is that? So that Saga Luke Skywalker get released a number of different times, and you get released without that battle damage look you get released with a regular look as well and you also get released with a magnet hand instead of the regular hand that pops in and out of the socket and then we'd fast forward to 2007 five years later and we get a a vintage original trilogy collection version of, version of luke so uh he'd be super articulated that's this version over here let's bring him forward so he'd come on the vintage card back uh, you can see how nice he looks sitting on that card back. So the first time we got these figures, and they came with these blister boxes, which is really nice. So it would protect the card back in there. And these card backs are like two or three times thicker than the stuff that you're getting today, the flimsy stuff that we're getting today. So, you know, Hasbro, upgrade the card backs. You don't have to give us these blisters. I know you want to save on plastic, but give us thicker card backs so our figures can, you know, stand the test of time before we buy them or wait for them to come in the mail. And that's Luke Skywalker there. I don't have him loose. I apologize for that. But uh, you can see the head sculpt leaves a little bit to be desired. It doesn't look entirely like the Luke Skywalker that we're used to. So I'll bring that a little closer just to show you. Um, so his head's a little bit different on there, but it does have full articulation. Um, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows. And of course, at the wrist, you can turn that fully around. He's got a separate holster piece uh, that holds the gun on the side there, which is a nice little added feature. Uh, a nicely painted, fully painted lightsaber, and he comes, of course, with a DL-44 blaster as well. Uh, articulation there at the knees, and then at the ankles as well. So, a nice new Luke Skywalker figure. Again, I never opened mine up. I wasn't really keen on the face sculpt there, and I was happy with that Saga one for my display. And I was always hoping I'd pick up another one of these, but I never found another one. Let's look, have a look at what he looks like on the back there. So, on the back, it would depict his original release and tell you when it came out. And then, of course, it would have the other figures that were available as well. Snow Trooper, Bosk, um, Endor, Leia, IG-88, and Han Solo, Hoth. So that's what we got in 2007. And there'd be a number of releases on those figures there, but Bespin Luke was one of them. And he's got another upgrade there, which is nice. Articulation-wise, just that head sculpt wasn't the most popular. 
Okay, we go ahead three years, and then we get Vintage Collection coming out. So Hasbro says we're going to make your figures, all of them coming out right now on Vintage Collection cards. And one of the first ones to come out was Luke Skywalker and his Bespin Fatigues. So that's this figure over here. That's the Luke. And, you know, of course, he'd come on that same card back I just showed you that on the Vintage Original, on vintage original Trilogy Collection version. And uh, you get a brand new sculpt to Luke, and this is an amazing one. Okay, this one's fully articulated. Let's bring him forward just so you can see his blue eyes first. So the head sculpt's a lot better than that previous one that we got. Uh, it's on a ball joint, so that's changed as well. You can't really move it up and down, just very slightly limited. But it's a lot more flexibility, um, posability for your figure there. He does have, you know, swivels at the shoulders. You can see that there, Okay. He has it at the elbow as well there, and of course at the hands, and you know, his hands also got a trigger finger. You can see that there, so you can put the gun on that hand as well. Uh, he can grab that lightsaber with both hands, which is nice. He does have a nice swivel there at the hips, so just under the under the chest piece, so you can pose him, you know, forward, back, leaning forward, side to side. You can do a lot with this figure. He does have a holster. It's a whole separate piece on the figure, and you can see there's a strap that goes around his leg there. Uh, there's the spot where his gun goes in. We can pull that blaster out. You can see that it's fully painted. This one's a little bent just because it was sitting in there for a while. But there's his gun, his blaster, DL-44, and it fits in there nicely. And I like this little area where it protrudes to the bottom. I think that's good. It's sitting through. Okay. Um, bendable knees. Of course, swivel here. Not every single figure in the vintage collection had this, but swivel at the, at the thighs there. So you can have the figure doing the splits if need be. Uh, and of course ankle articulation as well in the figure and that's the same on both legs underneath he's got his foot pegs if we turn him to the side just put his arms down so you can see him a little better that's what he looks like from the side okay and then from the back as well you can see a fully detailed luke skywalker he's still got that back part of the hair it's kind of like a mullet on the luke but not a nice update a nice addition uh the outfit paint job the sculpting on it is fantastic it's stood the test of time and that's what we get in the Vintage Collection in 2010. So let's stand him back over here. So next time we see Luke Skywalker, Disney would purchase Star Wars. And they, we do away with the Vintage Collection that will go dormant for a while. And in 2014, they released Mission Series figures. They'll be back to five points of articulation on the figures. And there was a two-pack with Darth Vader. And he came with a Bespin Luke. And that's this one over here. He's worth the mention because he is a brand new sculpt. Again, compared to the previous one I just showed you, uh, we're not going forward, we're going backwards, definitely with the sculpting. So they've gone with a basic paint job on his outfit over here. Uh, standard articulation, so, you know, arms straight up and down, nothing at the elbows, nothing at the wrists. Uh, head turns, that's what he looks like there with his head turning. He does have his holster painted on here. The paint job on the holster is nice, and it is a working holster, so it does have some um, playability on there, and of course you can take his gun out of the holster there and put it on but that is attached to his leg so that that's what that looks like when you lift, lift the leg up uh, nothing at the knees underneath he does have his foot pegs he's got his lightsaber on the other hand there let's put his arm down and show you what it looks like from the side so that's in 2014 that's what he looks like from the back as well and you can see that um, they've painted that holster and the little pockets on them all the way to the back so They've done some paint work here, but nothing on the outfit itself. The outfit is like one bleached uh, gray color. It mimics what, what um, Boba Fett's wearing in the new TV show right now. So that's Luke Skywalker from 2014. So we get another Luke Skywalker re-release of the Vintage Collection uh, in 2020 with the real scan technology. That's this one over here. We've already looked at the figure, but I wanted to bring this one up close just so we can see him. So that's Luke Skywalker in the packaging. Of course, this is so that newer fans can get in and we can get updates to some of our older figures. So it's exactly the same figure, but as you can see, he's on his Empire card. Nothing's changed there. Uh, but as you can see on the scan, technology on the face, a little more realistic. Uh, some of the figures got really good updates. Luke Skywalker, I think because it's an older figure, the scan technology didn't turn out the greatest on it. I'll bring up the other one side by side so we can look at it. He looks a little bit older, actually, with the scan technology. If we put them side by side with this one here, then we can get a pretty good depiction or idea of what Luke Skywalker looks like on both. You be the judge. It's a great figure. It's nice to have. It'd be nice to get a sculpt, brand new head sculpt, but in this case, we'll take this one because some people didn't get him 
on card, and it's nice to have a carded version of Luke for the Vintage Collection, especially since it's um, so difficult to acquire with the popularity and stuff of this line. So let's turn around to the back to see what it looks like card back there. And there's the other figures that got re-released with the updated technology on there. Bespin Han, the Lando, the Luke, and the 3PO. And then, of course, some other figures on the bottom there as well from Mando. And that was Vintage Collection number four. So that's what we get from Luke Skywalker with um, as far as his Vintage Collection, as far as his Ultimate Version 3 3 quarter inch form. So one more edition of the Bespin Luke Skywalker. We get a retro collection version of him walmart exclusive very difficult to find this one in 2020 as well so they re-released that original bespin luke skywalker on the vintage card they stuck this big retro collection sticker on just so that you can't confuse it with the original release which i don't think you would but nonetheless it's there you can see the weathering on the packaging as well so that's what luke looks like close up there so it's a re-release of that vintage figure. You can see his nice lightsaber there. The lightsabers came with a yellow handle at that time for whatever reason, probably from production stills or they didn't know what color it was going to be. And there's his blaster as well and packaging there. So it's really nice to have these figures. If you like to have those original ones and or don't have the original one, this is a nice option to get them, to have them as part of your collection. So that's him on card. Let's flip it around to the back just so we can see what we have there. Not much to show on the back. It does talk about the other figures that are available. Princess Leia Hoth, Han Solo Hoth, Yoda, Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker Bespin, and Lando Calrissian. So these were Walmart exclusives. Uh, hard to acquire like a lot of the Walmart stuff is. I wish they'd make these fan channels so everybody can get them. But nonetheless, that's the Luke. If you do want to get him, that's what he looks like. And he didn't come out that long ago. I also want to mention and show you the Black Series version of Luke Skywalker and his Bespin attire. Of course, the Black Series line started up in 2013, and then they made an initial version of Luke Skywalker and his Bespin Fatigues in 2014. We'll throw a picture up, but I couldn't bring myself to pick up the figure because the face sculpt was just too horrendous. I did not like the face sculpt. It took away from the whole figure. And I was always hoping they'd make this figure again because I got into the Black Series line and I really wanted to get that Bespin Luke. I just don't want to get that original version. And then... With the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back in 2020, we got that figure with a brand new head sculpt. That's this one over here. So fans rejoice. We finally got a good version of Luke Skywalker in his Bespin outfit. So there's the head sculpt. We can bring him close there just to show you what he looks like. You can see they gave us a brand new head, which is nice. A uh, nice depiction of Mark Hamill. I really like it. I think compared to what we got before, night and day difference in acquiring this figure. And you can see he can hold his lightsaber with both hands so black series you know articulation there uh, ball joints at the shoulders at the elbows articulation at the wrists he does have a belt holster here that's loose so it doesn't get in the way so you can pose this figure you can sit him down he does have his dl44 blaster in the in the holster there as well uh, knee articulation ankle articulation okay if we flip him up up here you can see that he's got pegs in the bottom for posing that's what he looks like from the side Let's bring him back camera-wise there. And that's what he looks like from the back. So that's the Luke Skywalker that we got from the Black Series. So that sums up every single Luke Skywalker in the Bestman outfit to date. I hope you guys have enjoyed, you know, this review, this look at Luke Skywalker and his Bestman outfit. Again, I love looking at these videos. I love preparing them, going through them. Hope that you guys enjoy watching them as well. Please like and subscribe if you do. Feel free to comment. And I look forward to seeing you on another video. Take care.